Six elements of the Australian rules of Gaelic football, 15 on each team, four quarters of 18 minutes per quarter, and straight away it's Ireland with Kieran Byrne straight in as far as Sean Cabana, and it's imperative that Australia get off to a good start in this. They're 22 points behind, and then they're under pressure immediately here with Lee Keegan, jersey pulled, and that's going to be a free, and that wasn't a legitimate tackle. So here comes Lee Keegan, he's from Mayo. He played here in the All-Ireland final this year, was disappointed with the result that time. But he puts this one over and he puts Ireland in front, so they get the better start. Chance of getting to the World Cup with the Socceroos. Yeah, he's a fair reason last week why well, we didn't go down by a lot more points. So he's, a, he's been fantastic in the goals for us. Back come Australia again. Sheringham this time, Wellingham this time. And a big, huge one, but it's, uh, has it dropped over? It has. It's a three-pointer. Really good work here by Sherrod Wellingham. Him. Well, it's something we're so used to back home is to play that man-on-man -man style of football. Cabana now, one of the most experienced players of playing international rules, inside as far as McKay, and the Dairyman puts it over from a good 40 metres out. Really good work by Chrissy McKay. And Kieran Sheehan booting it down, beautifully marked by Flynn in the middle of the field, got there ahead of Aaron Davy. They play on quickly now, and McKeever kicks it in for Ireland to a two-man inside forward line. Murphy trying to break it down, succeeds, and there's a goal by Conor McManus. The ball was so easily to move through the middle of the ground there. A couple of forward hand passes and that nice long kick into the forward line really puts the defenders under pressure. Well, the referees have had their word and uh, it'll be Mac Manus who got the goal during this opening quarter. He gets it in as far as Murphy, feeds it in beautifully. Mac Manus again and finish to the back of the net once more. This guy's quick movement and his movement of thought as well to get into good positions, very evident. One thing I've really noticed from the Irish guys is just how well they do the forward hand pass out into space and they really give each other that opportunity to break the lines. Nicely on. Two bounces. Two bounces, they have said, and they give the go ahead for the Australian teams to try and build this. Bets inside here, and the final kick was by Alwyn Davy. And Alwyn Davy's put it over. Good score by the Essendon man. Yeah, it just shows the superior ball use by your players. Able to hit the targets quite comfortably under pressure. Munnelly again free. In as far as Kavanagh. Kavanagh right on the baseline. Keeps it in here. And another one is stuck in. Another beautiful goal created by Ireland. Finished there. And it's 45 points to 16. Look, most players would have given up on this, but not Kavanagh. Played it back in there to Kieran Kilkenny. Chipped it up to him and a devastating finish in the second quarter. Definitely one for the highlight reel there for Ireland. What a fantastic play. Just the Aussies tried hard at half time. The score here reads Ireland 53, Australia 16. You have to get the toe of your boot under the ball first. Here they're allowed to pick it off the ground. There has been a debate for years and years and years, but this is a much faster and more effective way to keep continuity in the match. That's a decent tackle on the goalkeeper, Paddy O'Rourke. Three points already in this match from one over. Now this will be their first score of the third quarter from 20 metres out. And that was neatly over. Well done by Lewis Jetta. Keeping the Australia flag flying here. And the Australia team did not function as we know they are capable of doing. They are missing some key players from their indigenous squad. At least they're on the mat of goods alongside me. But Ireland are coming again. Burns there. And they fist it into the empty net. And again, it's Conor McManus. And Murphy's there. Neatly fed in. Beautifully finished. Emphatically done by Conor McManus, who's now got 18 points in this match. Picked up here well by Sheehan, played back once again, and Flynn puts it high and puts it over. Another one for Ireland, and it's Paul Flynn who gets a three-pointer here. Really good score. It's well created, and they're back again, Ireland, and they get another one, and it's put in the back of the net by Mark Priority. Too many players for you. They could have gone to three players there inside that, that 45. Thanks, Paul. Disappointing from the Aussies' point of view. Davy back towards Stokes. Now Yaram. Can kick it down here. He's got again two and one situation. Betts, possible opportunity here. Hill looks around. Have a go. Betts. Betts. And it's in there eventually. Eddie Betts. 
nice little reward for him for his hard work in that forward line. Nine points, it's hand eventually, I think, because it touched it as he was falling down. Just about got the hand to it. Lovely little transfer there. Back it comes to Murphy again. Swung around there by Leroy Jetta. Jetta feeds it on there to Lindsay Thomas. Back into it comes Davey. Back once again is Jake Need. He's got another one. There's no stopping Jake Need. Yeah, he's had a pretty quiet night tonight. For him to get on the scoreboard there, good running from the Australians. A couple of hand passes and then running into a nice goal and finishing off well, Jakey Need. Zach Tui kicking. Oh, what good vision. What a very good kick as well to Kavanagh. They go after him, but they can't catch him. And Kavanagh caught it beautifully and puts it over. Not sure he's going to win the Man of the Match award, however, because Conor McManus has been outstanding in that. Back once again, this time to Paul Conroy. The uh, Galway player playing it in. I don't know if anybody got a final touch to it. Whether or not it was touched on its way in here, don't think it was. I think Conroy should take the six-pointer. He hasn't had much to choose or to, to uh, celebrate about in this particular series, but he's been used very limitedly. Marked by Ash McGrath. I know uh, that Kieran Byrne is looking forward to the training camp. But they're all looking forward now to celebrating because Ireland have won the International Rules Series for 2013. And the final score here is 116 for Ireland. It's uh, 37 for Australia.